crazy attempt to kill Nam the Canon or else of us and your wound revealed a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you see they said that what an elder sees sitting down a very young boy can never see it even if he climbs a ladder you understand a passenger is an elder no wonder a man said that a passenger is the Yoruba King of politics. Yes. Obasanjo Angel speaks like a prophet. And again, what he sees, I don't think others can be able to see it. He knows what he's saying. 100%. He 100% knows what he's saying. Seriously, you will not believe that. Alright, so I will join the crowd that we uh, that 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 is issuing this warning to those planners to de desist before the wars begin to happen. You understand? Let's check the content. This is evening news. The former president Olusegun Obasanjo has said if God had wanted to kill the IPOP leader long time ago, he would have made it happen. If truly God doesn't want the Biafran freedom not to come to pass long time ago, he would have been killed off. But as it stands, agitation for Biafran freedom is still on, and it is gradually gaining its objective. Men, women, be warned. Nobody must touch the IPOP leader. I'm afraid this very war will be more than 1967. These present Igbos are different from the Igbos of Odumik Ochuku. I understand the politics of these very ones. You can see the way they are moving on with their agitation. Their agitation is not attached to violence. If anyone is pushing you and trying to make you to commit suicide or a blunder, all in the name of fighting for Bwari, you better desist. Say no to that. Obasanjo gave instances of what happened in 1967, saying it was a bloody war. Young, old, youth are also involved in the war. I wonder what will happen in this very one if it breaks out. <laughs> Olusegun Obasanjo, you see, Obasanjo may have his own in his body. He will have his own issue and his own uh, crime. But the young man is actually giving you a fact to go home with. When you look at the very agitators, these very agitators now, you will see that what Obasanjo is trying to tell you is the reality. These very agitators are 100% far different. Far, far different from the agitators of Ojumegu Ojuku. These ones never called for violence. The agitation has been on peace. On peace and if we are to judge you will see that they will be at the winning side 
For you to get the facts, look at the number of international countries that are endorsing them, that are recognizing them, that are seeing them to be a peaceful group. Look at. That is it. From there, you'll be able to get out reality that this very group is different from the ones of Odumibu Ojuku. So there is no doubt about it. So from what Obasanjo have just um, popped out, I'm very glad to tell you that it is in our own favor to listen and act as Obasanjo has advised before it's too late. That is what he saw to have said what he said. You understand? There, there are things he saw before seeing what he said. Enough. Enough has really broken out. So, Obasan just saying this, I tell you, my dear listeners, he wasn't just, he wasn't bluffing. He was saying it with lots of seriousness. Because he thinks some persons are already making moves and plans to get the IPOP leader, Namdekano, executed without thinking twice. Yeah, without thinking twice. All right. Let's hear you, my dear people. I know what you think and what your take and opinion on these very brokers may be. Don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.